Hello everyone, my name is Srikant Rangdor and I have been solving GNTU problems to provide GNTU with a key which is used by faculties to do all the corrections of engineering graphics papers. You can see that I have a huge collection of solved questions on engineering graphics from various topics that are in the syllabus provided by GNTU. In this video series, I'm trying to cover all these problems one by one so that not only the students but even the faculties will be benefited out of it. So let's go ahead with the today's problem, which has something to do with the vernier scale. So this is how the vernier scales look like. So the top scale you can see here is called the positive scale and the bottom one here is called the negative scale. Both the scales can do the work of each other and both of them are capable of measuring with same precision as the diagonal scale here. But the advantage that the vernier scales provide here is compared to the uh, diagonal scale is that they take up much less space compared to the diagonal space. In fact, they take up almost the same space as the plane scale over here, but has the same precision that the diagonal scale can provide in such a large space. Let's go straight to the problem and while solving it, try to understand what is the concept used in the vernier scale and how the vernier scale can do the same precise measurements like the diagonal scale. So this here is a problem statement. The representative factor is same as the previous case, that is 1 is to 40. And we have to draw a scale long enough to measure 6 meters, just as before. And we have to mark the given lengths on it. So there are two scales which the question wants us to make. First one is a positive vernier scale. On that, we have to mark distances of 4.76 meters and 0.46 meters. Whereas on the negative vernier scale, we have to mark 4.76 meters and 0.43 meters. The calculations are same as in the case of plane scale. I will not go into the detail. If you want to check out how it happens, you can check out the video on plane scales. Now let us go ahead and make the positive vernier scale first. You have to take the line command with the L enter, click on the left side and draw a length of 150 by feeding from the keyboard and pressing enter. Then take an upper length of 10 mm and come back here. Hover your cursor over this for small time so that you get the same length here and then close it to get a rectangle. Now because this length represents 6 meters, you have to divide it into 6 parts. So press div enter, click on the line, press 6 enter. You can see the line is divided into 6 equal parts. Now take this line over here, press CO enter, then picking the line from this point, keep it at all these points. Then take line command and from the midpoint of this line, draw a horizontal line straight to the end. You can remove the points if you want to because their work is over. Now we need to make the subdivisions in the first part here. So take line command and draw another smaller line overlapping with this long line. Take div command, press enter, click on this line and give 10 divisions. You can see the line has got divided. Next, take line command and you can draw the line passing through all these points. Or you can just take this line copy it, taking from this point to all the points. Once you have copied, select the center line and trim the lower parts. You can remove these points if you want and the center line needs to be extended a little. Next, you can select all these divisions, copy them, pick it from this point and place it in all the divisions. Press escape when you are done. Now we need to prepare the vernier scale. So to do that, we have to take one extra division over here because this is a positive vernier scale. So to do that, take offset, O enter, click on these two points, then click on this line, 
and click on the left. So this will create the another line which is at the same distance as this. Then above this we need to create the vernier scale. Again press O enter for offset. Take a distance of 8 and then click this line and click above. So this distance we will use for creating the vernier scale. Now you need to extend this line and this, extend this line and this and trim off whatever extra lines you get. Now this length over here needs to be divided into same number of parts that is 10. So give the divide command, select the object, give 10, enter and you can see it now got divided. Take this line, give the copy command, pick it from this point and place it at all these points. You can relate the points. Now let us try to understand the vernier scale. You see distance from this line to this line was exactly 1 meter and we divided into 10 parts. So the distance between these two lines becomes 0 0.1 meters. But here the distance between these two lines we had taken as 1.1 meters and then we divided that into 10 parts which gives the distance between these two lines as 0 0.11 meters. Same way the distance between these two lines will be 0 0.22, distance between these three as 0 0.33 and so on. So this is what will help us eliminate the last digit of the decimal. Once that is done, the rest of the measurement can be done on the mean scale. Now we have been asked to make these two measurements on the vernier scale. So in order to get this measurement, we have to divide this into two parts. The first part should try to eliminate the last digit. So we have to take 0 0.66 meters which is provided by six divisions on the vernier scale. The remaining length of 4.1 meters can be taken on the main scale. So when you want to make the, make the mark from 0 to 4.1 should be marked on the main scale and six divisions on the vernier scale will provide us with 0 0.66. So the distance from this point to this point over here will be exactly 4.76 meters. Now of course AutoCAD is providing us with the drawing length so which we have to change to 4.76 meters. Even when the length is smaller than one main skill division we have to provide the same process. So first we need to eliminate the last digit by taking six number of divisions and then we have to subtract from it 0 0.2 meters which is two divisions on this main scale. So the distance from this point over here to this second point on the main scale is what will provide us the required dimension of 4.6 meters. So that's it for this video. In the next one we will take up the negative vernier scale and solve the same problem. Thank you.